Hello and welcome to the Friday stream, where uh, hey. we try to be educational in some sort or another. How did you? How did y'all like that uh, spooky, scary music? It's October, chat. Had to get a little bit thematic with that one. Um, but before we get into things, of course, uh, Mako just released last Wednesday, or wait, no, was it Thursday? Wednesday? I don't know. Time flies, when? and I lose Thursday. track of days. Um, but Mako has just been released very recently, and so we're going to play her a little yesterday. bit. Was it yesterday? Okay. Yeah, it was right. yesterday, dude. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. Like, I, I spent all of yesterday thinking yesterday was, like, Tuesday. Like, I, my right. all of my days have just... I don't even know. Um, all the days, months. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, it, yeah I, I realized something yesterday. That I've been quarantining three Brita filters ago. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. that's your uh, measurement of of time. I'm surprised you're uh, so diligent with your Brita filter swaps, because uh, I don't think I have that tenacity. Um, either way, uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing some Mako today. Uh, we'll show off a little bit that um, I've been able to gather from the internet now that she's been released. You know, people have been posting some things, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. We can uh, try that out. 
So um, that's kind of going to be the goal today. Um, after that, we'll uh, maybe work on some battle pass missions because Sirius is behind, so am I. Um, so maybe we'll do a couple of those battle pass missions because that's also um, something that is very valuable. Um, other than that, uh, I see chat freaking out a little bit. Um, don't worry, it's okay. I have my man behind the scenes looking at it and keeping an eye on things. Um, so uh, I'll let y'all know as soon as I have any new information, but um, there's not a lot that can be said. We are aware that it, it says login, but um, they're, they're behind the scenes. I'm up here. There's a disconnect because I, I can't be back there and here at the same time, but uh, just be patient. Thank you for bearing with us. Worst case scenario, we'll run a rerun um, uh, sometime after the stream and then y'all will have it on for that. Okay. Uh, awesome. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, uh, yeah. Chat. Chat. I don't know if y'all have a Twitter account. I don't know if y'all have looked. Um, but maybe you've seen us hinting at the next big thing coming to Brawlhalla. Ooh! Maybe. That's all I can say. That's all I have information Okay, wise. good. Ooh. I'm not going to say all much right. more. Um, but uh, check out the Twitter. Twitter.com slash Brawlhalla. Uh, again, that's always a fantastic place to just get general Brawlhalla information. Like, hey, we're patching. Hey, we have to take the servers down real quick. Things like that. Also, great place to find that out. So go over to Brawlhalla.com. Or sorry, Twitter.com slash Brawlhalla. Also, while you're there, why not just just give us a follow, you know? Why so serious? At 2 fam, you know, just... You're, you're you're there, right? It's just one one step away. <laughs> I ha I had actually haven't seen I hadn't seen it yet. Um, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty chat, neat. Chat, give me g tell me what you think, chat. Once you see it, I want to know what you think. I've seen I've seen some pretty good guesses. Um, not gonna lie. Um, anyways, uh, chat. I again, uh, I see y'all saying fix the chat uh, the track. We are aware. Someone behind the scenes is looking at it, saying fix the track more keeps us aware i guess so i mean live your truth but we're aware just letting y'all know you don't have to keep saying that it's 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 being looked at um all right let's get into this you're, you're ready for some make -oing? Uh, yeah i'm actually warming up right now um okay. um so, can you spectate yeah well, well, well we can spectate you real quick oh we're not going into ranked just yet are no we? Okay. probably not we still we still gotta Bye do man. some Mako things. You're fine. You're just you're eager to play. I get it. Um, other than that, I guess while Sirius is warming up, uh, I'll I'll talk to chat a little bit. How's it going? Uh, of course, we're now in October, which uh, insane that we have only a couple of months left in 2020. Um, this year has has disappeared, um, but uh, a lot of cool stuff has come through 2020. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you, person who used my email. I actually didn't catch the name, but I appreciate you, and you know I love you. I love all of chat. You're all amazing. Um, your birthday is tomorrow. Congratulations. Happy oh, birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Good job living for another year. October 3rd, huh? Wow, look at you knowing days of the week. My, uh, my brother's birthday was yesterday. Oh, okay. And, like, my entire family, like... Um, October is like my family's birthday month. Oh, so like, okay. I think there are only th three or four people on my dad's side of the family who are not born in October, and I'm one of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, my... I mean, aunts, uncles, cousins, everybody. Oh, okay, so it's bigger. It's not just, like, immediate family. Correct. That's crazy. My immediate yeah. family is, um, three-fifths March, one April, and then the other one is November, so... Um, uh, also, I have cousins in March. Yeah, March was our, our like, family birth month um, for a very long time. It's obviously spread out over time as uh, more people get born. <laughs> um, you're in March? Have, what's up, March birthdays? The worst thing about March, I, I always feel bad for people with holiday birthdays. Again, I'm, I'm going off track because we're waiting for service right now, um, but... Holiday birthdays, I always feel bad for them. Like I, I was, I had a spring break birthday, right? So all my birthdays, I never got to celebrate with um, friends, because it would always be during spring break, and we would either travel or my friends would all travel. So that was always really unfortunate. And then uh, the same goes for like you know Christmas birthdays or summer birthdays. I always just feel bad for people with birthdays where like you don't get to have traditional friend time birthdays. Wow, I can't believe I lost that. Everyone yeah, I was, I was one of those. Yeah. 
Um, I had a. I was a summer summer birthday. Your summer so. birthday. Yeah. So it was like always summer vacation. Wait, don't queue again. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, it's just searching for players. Um, <clears throat> summer birthdays are also awkward just because of um, like. You never know if you're placed the year before or the year after what summer birthday is, right? Like, it's always um, awkward. All right. I'm going to stream to you my perspective so that I can show you the two things I want to show for Mako. And then um, I'll let you practice it. And then we can uh, take it into experimental or whatever. Or we can do battle pass missions, whichever one you want to do. But I'll show you um, these two things first. All right. Sorry if we lose Sirius's cam real quick. All right. So I am, I'm just a uh, local streaming you my screen because that's going to be faster. Mako. Mako. And again, this is all on um, live. So everything that I'm about to do, y'all can totally do. Um, again, we're, we're aware of the track thing. Uh, thank you for being excited about it. And there's a decent chance we'll just end up running a rerun with the um, viewership rewards turned on if they don't work right now. Uh, meanwhile, over in YouTube chat, uh, fix the track. No track for you in YouTube chat, but good on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's funny. All right, all right. Uh, so first thing, uh, this is probably like the neatest thing that I've seen uh, specifically regarding Mako. And um, I think this is her only true SIG combo as far as I'm aware. Uh, most of the SIGs are gonna be like reads, or uh, hyper situational things, right? So for the most part, you're only gonna use this neutral signature uh, either when they dodge over you, right? So uh, let's have this one dodge left, right? So if they're the type of person who likes to dodge over you, then that neutral sig's really good. Um, that That's kind of a, a situational thing, or you're gonna use it off stage when you're like over here and you're trying to edge guard and you're like, aha, I got him. Also, uh, keep in mind that doesn't let you get the wall touch. It goes straight up. So it is um, a risky signature. You have to hit it to get that chase touch. That's just something to keep in mind for you uh, people who are thinking about picking up Mako. Um, but here's the, the coolest thing that I've seen so far. Um, again, uh, we'll see more uh, as more people start playing the character, um, but you can do this. That's probably the coolest thing I've seen um, with Mako. Uh, I'll do it one more time. It's, uh, whoopsies. Uh, weapon toss, down light, and then pick up NSIG. Missed there. So, uh, the, the, the down light pick up NSIG is true. Uh, the weapon toss into the down light is not true. I've been able to get that down to two frames. I don't actually do a lot of weapon toss kicks. So, um, I, it's possible to get that lower. But... Personally speaking, I've only been able to get that down to uh, two frames, but the coolest thing here is that. And then, oopsies, switched weapons, uh, mid combo. Yeah, totally normal. Um, so, Sirs, I'll ask you to practice that. I, I, I'm i actually trying it right now in training mode. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's tough, man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a weapon throw combo. I can do the weapon throw, slide kick, and then pick up the weapon again. Um, this might be one of those things where you specifically need to have, um, light to pick up off. Can I go into my controls real quick? I do. Okay. Um, this, this is more for, uh, people in chat, I guess, because I know some people in chat don't use light or use light to pick up. Um, so I'm gonna actually try this real quick. Yeah. So that's gonna, that's gonna interrupt that. Um, cause you're gonna pick up instead of doing the down light. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's one of the big reasons why I personally do use, um, I turn off light to pick up. Um, but again, uh, zoop. And then you can do some cool stuff. I saw um, there's a like damage specific thing that people, that I saw afterwards uh, that it, it's not true, which is why it's like less important to it. Is that, is you do a gravity cancel side light afterwards. It's kind of cool. Um, but again, it's like, it's, Hyper niche. That's the part that you're probably going to actually use if you use this for her. Um, and the other thing. All right. So now we're going to get into Greatsword. Uh, I actually have a question, Cyrus. Yep. Um, what did... Uh, oh, my gosh. This music is so dramatic and loud. Um, what What did... Because uh, Foda taught you a little bit of Greatsword, right? Yes. Did he teach you any, like stock enders no i don't think so okay um we're gonna do a couple stock enders um 
Again, there's going to be a little bit that's going to be Mako specific. So we'll start with that. But then I'm going to expand it a little bit because um, there is going to be technically better options in my opinion. But again, we're kind of focusing on Mako. Um, oh, I guess I should kind of go over her SIGs as a whole. Um, so I guess maybe if you haven't seen Mako or um, aren't quite sure the situations to use her signatures, um, the places where I'll see the, the side signature used the most is like... <laughs> Uh, say you hit a downlight and they dodge backwards. That's probably the most likely to use that side signature. Um, other than that, it's uh, you can go for the vertical. Uh, we'll see if we can get that to happen. Right, like something like that. You can go for the vertical sign sig. But for the most part, it's going to be like you go here and they dodge back um, and you hit them with the, the side sig. Actually, uh, I need the dodge to come back up after this. So. Ah. Like that. See? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so that's probably the, the place where you'll see the side sig used the most. And then conversely, the down signature um, off the top of my head, this was the one that made the most sense to me, is kind of the opposite. Whoopsies. All right. And they dodge in. So that's kind of oh, your 50 50 is uh, okay. you do that. Um, what's nice about the down sig is you can kind of move around a little bit with it. Um, so it might actually be fine if they do a spot dodge as well. See if we can do this. So you can kind of chase with it. Um, but those are the situations, like the obvious situations where you're going to immediately start seeing those be brought in is you're using the down signature as a read on dodge ins, using the side signature on read, reads for dodges out. And that's kind of generally true for um, Qatars. Um, also, situations where you'll see the side is like, oh, they dodge off off the side light. Again, those are just different setups based on um, reads. The neutral sig was the part that I thought was the coolest. Um, now we're going over the great sword. Um, so one thing that's really just like nice about this great sword neutral signature is it covers a lot of these um, jump options, which a lot of people are going to want to do off your great sword setups. So you just go into the neutral light bridge and you can go for this neutral signature. The only option, it, the only jump option it doesn't cover is the right one. Um, but you can obviously just move forward after that. Oh, wait. Ah, I'm bad. All right. Well, either way, you get the idea. Um, but it's really good for covering, uh, left and neutral jump options. Oopsies. I'm real bad right now. Same. Um, but that's kind of like the coolest thing for the neutral signature. Um, other than that, same kind of general concept for the side and the down. It's like if they're going to dodge right, then you chase after them with the, the side signature. Or you uh, you do the double sign and it'll push them into that range. But it, again, it's just like reads based on uh, how they're going to react. Same idea, right? If they dodge in, you go for the down sig. Um, if, if they dodge out, you go for the side sig. That's the easiest way to kind of simplify when you're going to use those situations, uh, use those signatures, those situations, you'll use them. Um, but I do want to teach you, uh, these stock finishers. I don't know if you are going to be capable of doing these, but these are going to be good stock finishers to know. Um, so Sirius, do you know, you know, you, you know, the concept of the Russian mafia, right? Yes. Do you, what are the, what are the inputs? after the downlight oh no not like that so um it's downlight chase dodge i don't know the inputs right um but downlight chase dodge then it's down air is it down air okay so you don't know the concept of the russian mafia <laughs> <laughs> i know it when it's done to me yeah you, you know how it looks and it feels um so the the core idea, um, the like the kind of the cool part of the Russian Mafia is the jump, chase, dodge, recovery. Um, that's like that hammer part. So you do the stomp, jump, chase, dodge, recovery, and then after that you're going for something to finish that stop. Um, it's kind of the same idea here with uh, with the recovery for um, the great sword. You're gonna do uh, a chase, dodge, recovery um, for jump reads. You can actually go straight uh, into like a diagonal chase dodge. Oopsies. Uh, you can go for diagonal. Ah, I am just misinputting. 
Well. Hold on. There we go. Go for diagonal. Uh, and then you choose left or right depending on how you think they're going to jump. So if you think they're going to jump left, then you can go for a, a left uh, left recovery. Dominating. If you think they're going to go right, eh. then you go for the right recovery. Um, and then if you if they have their dodge up, then that's when you're going to go for the jump chase dodge. Um, we'll see if I can do this. Side. Oh. Is it right? Oh, I'm just misinputting. Um, all right. I'm just going to show you again. Sorry. I, I think I'm like jumping too many steps ahead and then also misinputting, which just makes this super gross to look at. Um, so, uh, Usually I'm going into the bridge to set up for this. Uh, there's no specific reason why besides just like I like setting up off the bridge. Um, but you're going for that right there. Uh, this is the diagonal up that goes higher. So that's why you go for the jump ones. Right. So that's that's if you think they don't have their dodge and they're going to try to jump out. But if they do have their dodge, then you're going for this lower one. You see how it dips down. I'm going to frame my frame for this. You see how I, I dip down. Yeah. So that's for those. That's for when they have their dodge, because it goes lower versus the diagonal up. Ah, didn't do it. I don't even understand how you. That's yeah. That's a lot of inputs, huh? <laughs> um. So that's what. <laughs> that's why I was saying just go straight for the neutral, um, because it'll cover enough options that it'll work. It's gonna kill less early than the um, the straight recovery. But it'll cover more. It'll cover enough options that you're gonna feel fine with it. Um, the, probably the biggest thing is it's not gonna cover any of the dodges, really. Um, it might cover like a, an up left. We'll see. Yeah, it'll cover an up left. Uh, but for the most part, you're gonna want to just um, do this if you can't do the 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 chase dodges or the jump chase dodge. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So can you repeat back? What are the two big things that you're going to take away from this? Uh, chase dodge. And then um, you have to face in the right direction. No. Okay. What are the two big Mako specific things? No, I have no idea. Okay. Mako specific, like... So, what? No, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm. I'm a little lost. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do the. So I want you to be able to do the downlight into the Qatar and Sig. Okay. And then for Mako, just do sidelight neutral bridge. So sidelight open neutral bridge, and then just do N Sig. Those are probably the two biggest things that you can take away. Um, if you want to get more in depth on Great Sword, then you're gonna be going for the jump chase dodges or the just straight chase dodges. Oopsies. Um, but I don't know if you're ready for that. And that's okay. I don't think I am, but you know. Willing to try if I can if I can pass the first few levels. Alright. So let's let's try this out. Alright. Um do you how do you want to do this? Do you want to stream it to me or do you want um, Let's let's get into a lobby. Okay. Uh, I can try it on you. Just like a hundred stock lobby or something. Yeah, I think I'm a little more comfortable with the Qatar's one. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Let me get out of here. Uh, I can't. Do you want to join my lobby or? Yeah. Right, let's just make a lobby. Custom. Right, cool. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Shipwreck's just a good map to do this on. Okay. Um, chat. 
Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, the I'm getting word from my list, or is that someone from your list? I don't know. Um, they might have just seen the the room number because it flashed on the screen for a hot minute. Um, so I'm getting an update with regards to the the Twitch viewership rewards trap. This is a new error, one that we have not experienced before. It's going to take longer than a day to look into. Um, so we apologize. We appreciate the patience, um, but it will likely not be able to come back during the stream or even during the day. So that promise of potentially having a rerun, um, not looking likely just because this seems to be a deeper issue than what we had previously ex uh, experienced. So apologies. Thank you for your patience. We understand that y'all are very uh, excited about the viewership rewards. We aren't too. Um, unfortunately, yeah, sometimes technical issues happen. So uh, it likely won't be back on for the stream. It likely will not be back on for the rest of the day. Um, thank you. You're welcome to keep watching uh, and learn more about Mako as Sirius uh, tries desperately to not do the two things that I asked him to learn. Um, but let's see. Um, can you do the can you do the D line into the uh N sig? Not able to hit the N sig yet. <clears throat> wait, what are you wait what what are you what are you doing? <laughs> what are you do None of this is that. It's a weapon toss unarmed D line. Oh, okay, you want me to do that? <laughs> yes. And then pick ah. up pick up N sig. All right, now just do side light neutral light. All right. I can't pick up fast enough. All right, so. <laughs> don't ah. go! Don't go back for the guitars. The the grab reach is actually pretty large. Like you see how you're turning. Oh, no, no. You see how? You're oh, I did it back? again. Yeah. I might be too damaged. So hold on. Oh my guitars. All right, what was the greatsword one? <clears throat> uh, just do sidelight neutral bridge into N6. Oh, I have to jump, that's right. Nope. There you go. hey -o. Okay. So that one's, that one's relatively easy. I think most people who pick up Mako, that's gonna be a good, like, just immediate first one to do. Yeah, that, but faster. Yeah. Oh, I am not a very coordinated person. I see that. I see that. Okay, that, Woo! that but okay. faster. I might be too damaged. That weapon's also starting to launch me. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're still a little slow. Uh, I might be too damaged now. Uh, okay, but I, th I think I think I'm yeah. trying to understand it. Yeah. All right. Uh, That's the first weapon toss combo that I've I think I've learned. Really? I guess that makes yeah, sense. I've never. I don't really do weapon. Like I'll throw a weapon, but I won't do a weapon toss combo. Yeah. Um, you ready? Yeah. Do you want? Are to, we fighting? Do you want to do battle pass or do you want to do? Uh... What, what are you gonna, you gonna just do some Mako games? How you feeling? Yeah, let's do let's do Battle Pass with Mako. Um, I I got a bunch of missions. Let me uh, let me let me see where I'm at right now. <clears throat> um, okay, so week one I have 
I still have get KOs with active input versions of attacks. Get okay. KOs with down air attacks. Okay. Um, then I have week two. I have win matches with current battle pass color scheme. Much harder than I anticipated. Uh, especially on random. Uh, gain elo of any kind. Catch gadgets thrown by an opponent. And then I have nothing done in week three yet. Yeah, I also have not done a lot in week three. Um, seems like a lot. Uh, so yeah. You, you kind of have free reign with uh, three weeks of character picks. Um, so let me do this. Let's, uh, we, I think we can get some twos in. I'm down for that. Tournament twos. That's not it. Matchmaker. Whip out the make coat. Wait, free from, wait, how do I, how do I change the game mode we're matchmaking? Oh, here we go. Here. Let's get that, uh, free elo. Uh, what do I, what do I need to do? I still need sword. I can get gauntlets damage so I can play some Val. Um, sword hammer. Sword Axe. Uh, let's do... Let's just do some Bodvar. Good old Bodvar. Uh, I got Cannon, Orb, Gaunts. I'm, I'm going to play Mako for a little bit. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I mean, oh, you'll, you'll still right. be getting battle points at the very <clears throat> least, so... Yeah. And then I'll switch to, like, Gauntlets or Cannon afterwards. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you do. You do, you yeah. I probably have a bunch of missions just like wasn't there a 2v2 ranked 2v2 mission or was that a weekly mission? it's not a ranked 2 you might have had a weekly but there yeah, is a gain 2k elo mission Did the dumb thing. <laughs> huh. Oh, nice setup. Oh, no. Yeah, you got him. Good job. This is it. This is me. It's okay. Just uh, outlive the other Mako. You failed. I know. <laughs> All right, I got a, I got like double audio coming in, I guess, from uh, your, from your oh, screen. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to mute that. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, that was easy. Okay. All right, Deuce gonna two v one it, I believe. Oh wow! Okay, you took the lead.
Oh. <laughs> this chat how's everybody doing chat you having a good friday got the emote too not toxic honestly just trying to get battle pass missions i apologize I still haven't got any of those. I like I keep trying to do that, but I don't I don't get it. All right, so I got to be be the first player to pick up an item. That's definitely um gain elo. Okay, cool. I'm going to go for orb and uh orb and hammer. I got to get KOs with sidings. That's a lot. Petra, orb gauntlets. Let's go. What's with the Bible thumps? Chat, what happened? What's wrong? Are you sad? I'm sad. Let's talk about it. I don't know, friends. I just... I saw a bunch of people in chat um, saying, yeah, they're having a good Friday. Is that not the case? Oh, we're in emote only chat. How's oh. That Three, chat, Bible two, thumps. One, I sympathize. Four. Oh, almost had the weapon. Ooh, that was a bad dodge. Oh my gosh, I like throwing my first stock. Ooh, too slow. Come on. Nice read. Nice. <clears throat> All right, we're behind, but winnable. I feel like I'm super hard concentrating and I have not been talking to ch uh, chat at all. So apologies chat, but also y'all are in emote only mode. So just give me your Frank disease and we're even. Oh, I messed up. Uh, yeah, so uh, right there, what happens is if somebody is very blatantly going to try to just ground pound you on the corner, just dodge up uh, instead of dodging towards the corner. Um, that's how I messed up the first dot. Uh, and so the second stock, I did the dodge up fine. They actually charged the recovery way longer than I would have expected, just because there's no reason to charge it that long. Uh, but it did throw off my timing, so it kind of worked out in their favor. Uh, oh, here's a fun little thing to talk about. Um, whoopsies, while well, Sirius gets juggled. Uh, next Friday, uh, we're gonna have a special stream. Um, we're gonna have somebody from the community on to talk uh, a little bit about ranked anxiety. Oh gosh, you're out. Ranked anxiety, which, uh, oh, I just threw that stock. That was a, that was a good down air. Um, hey, we're both out now. Yeah. Um, so that'll be a fun one. If you have... Um, Wait, I wanna know chat's guesses as to who it is. <laughs> chat, chat knows, the second I said ranked anxiety. Um, yeah, if you, if you have uh, feelings about ranked anxiety, if you have questions and you're like, man, I struggle to want to queue ranked because I always get super stressed when I'm about to, to get into a ranked match, things like that, uh, then that's going to be a really good stream. Um, I have a lot of faith in this person to uh, communicate very effectively, and it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be a nice little learning experience for all of us. So, um, yeah, next, next Friday will be something different. It'll be something special. And I hope y'all will all enjoy it. Um, every Friday is special. Yeah, every, every day is special when we're when we're here, chat. 
when y'all are when y'all are with us. Oh, how did I let that go? Try not to get... Oh. Oopsies. I killed you there. That was my bad. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait, what? Where did my jumpsuit? I'm telling you, man, this did Volkov... This Volkov is, is, is good. Is, is nasty. Oh, that's good. Oh Lord! Oh, oh beautiful! Beautiful! All right, chat. I'm back. I'm talking to you now. Let's see. What is chat saying? Can you guess? <laughs> um, egg soup. Hey, so, what's up, Wangana? No, no, no. They were um. This is still winnable, I think. Yeah. What's up? How's it going? Yep, I see some egg soups in chat. Anybody else you can think of? Nope. Just there's a soup. whole world, or there's a whole wide world of Brawlhalla community members. Oh, that was not supposed to be a dash job. Turkish, <laughs> the Turkish Mafia. Wait, what, what move is that? I've never heard of that. I've actually never heard of the Turkish Mafia. Although I do feel like a lot of times people just do a thing and they're like, I hit three side airs. I'm going to call it the John Mafia. Like, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, if only he had this damage, that would have been amazing. Oh, that's unfortunate that that, uh, his grandpa beat mine. Let's. I'm gonna try and bring our team Elo down a little. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Cannon orb. Haven't got one orb legend win. Okay. Uh. So gauntlets damage. Catch no, gadgets. I need learning makeup. We did. We we did some Mako stuff earlier. Now we're working on battle pass missions. I guess you're right. We should have a, a change in the stream title. Um. So apologies. Let's for Mako that. it. Let's double Mako. Mako it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Double know. Mako rank two. Battle pass mission for Mako though. Mako. I'll scan. This light blue. Chat, I hope you're ready to see some of the worst guitars in the game, because I don't know how to play guitars. Oh really? Okay. Well, don't worry. I'll I'll carry you on guitars. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a joke. That's. <clears throat> Look at that. Did it for you, chat. Oh, I can't dodge down into that. Okay. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. 
I love Mako, can I just say? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And this is this is my favorite favorite skin. The uh, Orca. Yeah, Orca's a good one. Orca is like one of my favorite animals. Oh. I remember like the first paper that I ever wrote in my life was about orcas. Really? Like like as a kid. <laughs> you, my bad. I'm on my last stock and you hit me <laughs> so many times. This is not gonna look good for us. I hope you're ready to 1v2. Always. Shout out to the grab rules there. Oh no! Oh wait. Oh, lost myself. Oh, you have murdered me. <laughs> Alright. You Clutch have time. completely killed me. Uh, chat, I see y'all asking about viewership rewards. They're turned off because they're not working. And unfortunately, they uh, it does not seem like it'll be fixed in time uh, for this stream or for the rest of the day. So, that is why they are turned off. Uh, appreciate y'all being excited about them. We are aware they're off, and they're off for a very specific reason, and it's because they're not working. The end. So this is the imposter. Very accurate. Yeah, he uh, definitely, at the very least, third imposter for that one. Solo queue for rank 2v2 is not likely, um, because the way that rank 2v2s work, because you can hit your teammate, uh, adding the ability to solo queue kind of opens it up to trolling. Makes it very easy for somebody to third imposter to just completely destroy your teammate. Um, and so that's why uh, it's just better to have uh, two person queues for that. Um, what, third what does that mean? I actually... It's a joke on this game called Among Us, where uh, yeah. it's kind of like Mafia or um, Werewolf or any of those other kind of deception games. Um, and basically, third impostering is when you're not the bad guy, but you play like you're the bad guy, and you basically get your good guys killed. Okay. So you okay. team killing makes you a third imposter. That's the trick. I like that. I like that. Then yes, I am the third imposter. Sirius is very much a third imposter. Um, yes. Did I say Among Us is like Mafia? It is a deception game. It is a social game where you and a group of people play together and some people are not who they say they are. Sat oh, sag zip. Genre. Thanks for your message. Appreciate that. Now someone just left a really nice message in, in chat. That's nice of them. Oh man, I am colorblind and struggling with these colors. Oh, the gray and the orange. Yeah, uh, the gray and the blue look very similar to me. Got a surf? Have you ever surfed? Uh, yeah, I have surfed. It's very fun. Um, it's Always also very it tiring. Play. It's way more tiring than you think because a lot of surfing is not the being on the board. Uh, a lot, a lot of surfing is the getting up to speed with a wave that's coming, and then um, having the like catching the wave right. So it's actually very exhausting. <laughs> Wakeboarding is much easier. Oh, that's you. Sorry. 
Help! Oh, whoo! Oh, whoa! That was neat. What? Just walked right into it. Ah, oh, I dodged into it. Oh, was that? I really okay, was hoping that, that side stick was gonna hit him. It's all good. <clears throat> Dang. All right, so we haven't we haven't won today, have we? We won one. We won the first one. Our elo is so low it can't go any lower. Dude. I love it. This I'm is just perfect. throwing elo. Right, I'm going back to bone bar. You can keep playing Mako. I, I mean, I I need to I need to hit some some weapons. Yeah, I gotta get some battle pass missions. All right, Petra, it is. Chat, who are you playing nowadays in battle pass? What's been your favorite mission? Favorite. What's been the pass? hardest mission for you? And what's been the easiest? The Elo one. Okay, that's your favorite one. 2000 ELO is the hardest. What about the um, downlight KO? Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with that one and the um, active input one as well. Three, two, one. You can do the uh, just raw sound scythe downlight. Just do the forward kick. That's also a good one if you have enough damage built up on them. World's floatiest. F ah. You have an end sig? Arrows, no. Down air with lances and forward scythe. Okay. For the other one. Uh, huh. I, I found hammer down air is the most convenient for me personally. But I can I can see merit to the the lance down airs. I think most of mine were actually lance down airs. Yo, this jaw is so floaty. Just don't worry about it. It's a 2v2. You just, uh, you worry about the Taros and not getting beat by him. Oh no, didn't see that in sync. Just don't lose to the Terras. That's all you need to do. Ah. 
starting to throw. Yeah. I want to survive. Oh my god. It walks right into the side here. I was those down six. Okay. <laughs> this is both winnable and throwable. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah, he seems scared, so I just went for the longest reaching thing I had. <laughs> The, that was literally my logic. I was like, he's going to backdash, so I'm just going to go for something that reaches far. Um, look at all that. Look at all those missions. See, this is why I had to play Bodvar. Got to finish these missions. Oh, Mako main. Right, we, we actually, had a couple of Mako wait, mains wait, already. Oh, no, we got a match. Okay, this is our last match. I didn't realize the time. Ooh, me this neither. Match. I, w I was having fun. Apologies. Yeah. Yo, we got Mako it's mains already. Fantasy. Yeah. Mako main. Okay. Shout out to the Mako mains. I, I wish I had that kind of uh, confidence in just like, that's a new thing that I like. I'm going to main it. I don't even care. Like, that's uh, that takes guts that I don't, I don't have. Every time I try to switch off of my main, I'm like, I, I don't like this. This makes me sad. I'm not playing well anymore. Nice jump! Oh no! I got it, I got it, I got it. Got it. I'm fine. Oh, that's a reach. That is a reach. Oh, I forget about that sig. Like, I don't know why I forget about that sig, but I forget about that sig, and I die to it a lot. Oh, no. Why do you do so many side sigs, Sirius? Is there a mission for it? Surely there was, right? I know there's a side air mission. Oh, just got that one. All right, I'm feeling good about this game. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's still pretty even, but. That's why I do so many side sigs. That's that sig is fine. I, when you do it with the orb, and they're in front of you, I get concerned <laughs> because the orb side sig does not hit very close. Love it, GGs. Look at all that damage you did. All right, chat. That's gonna be it for us because we are actually running out of time, and we have a very strict time limit today. Um, so we're going to close out of here. We're going to do our big away. Um, I might try to do a little bit extra. Sir is holding me back if I go too far. Um, but we'll, I'll try to do a little bit extra. Oh gosh, I need to do a thing. Um, to make up for the fact that, uh, the, um, viewership rewards was unfortunately down for the stream. Again, there's technical difficulties. It's being looked at. Apologies. Thank you for your patience. Um, but if you now, if you want to be part of the big away, come on over to twitch.tv slash brawlhalla. We're going to be doing this big away in just a little bit. We'll fetch all the chat and then we'll do some rolling. Um, and 
uh, we'll, we'll try to do a little bit extra. We'll give away some community colors. We'll give away some meta devs. It'll come from me. So if you're like, why did, what is this whisper from some random person? It's, it is me. You can see my name right there. It's, that's me. And honestly, even if, uh, you were confused about it, um, it's not a link. So it's not, it's not a virus. I promise. I'm only saying this because I've gotten people messaging me like, yeah, nice try scammer. And I'm like, I'm, I'm literally giving you a code. Your worst thing you could do is try the code, but uh, music stuff. Um, all right, so giveaway giveaway rules. We we don't really have um, any keywords or anything to do this time, but I'm gonna talk to chat while um, uh, Duke is setting up. Um, <laughs> and I want to know this week. I want to know. Do you guys read books? What do you What are you reading nowadays? What's a good book? Which, and then what's your favorite book? That's what I want to know. Duke, are no. you reading anything? On, on that note, I don't read. Um, I, so I had this thought. Okay. okay. This is, uh, honestly, it's sparked a lot of um, brain cells, which crazy. Um, so I was watching, a, a, the you know, those GQ, um, like, this person can't live a day without this thing, right? Um, and it was on, uh, what is his name? H Henry J. Min, something like that. The guy from uh, Umbrella Academy. He plays Ben in um, Umbrella Academy. Um, but on his list was the book, the alchemist, which I've heard amazing things about. Um, and I, sheepy over there heard, heard me saying, uh, the alchemist and she also loves the alchemist. So unfortunately I'm going to lose her to the actor who plays Ben on uh, umbrella Academy. Um, but, uh, the short is a, I, I feel like compelled to read it because I've seen so many good things, but B, I realized that I have a hard time getting started with, um, things like books, even like you can extend that to shows or, um, any like long running thing, like usually once I'm in it, I enjoy the crap out of it, but like getting started, just like getting to know characters is, it's just the worst for me. I hate it. No, yeah, no, no, I get that. There's, there's, there's definitely like a, like a learning curve or like a, whatever you call it for pretty much anything that you start, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you're getting into like you know huge worlds like lord of the rings all right y'all so enter does nothing in chat so instead because i know chat really really likes to say keywords mm -hmm. when we do giveaways absolutely i want you to do hashtag your favorite book so for example i'm going to put in hashtag harry potter but yeah you know like something like lord of the rings or something mm -hmm. like that you know it's like a huge massive world and then you really have to like get into it and i get it it can be a little daunting to like you know the startup so hashtag harry potter the winds of winter okay so we've got some george r, r. martin fans diary of a wimpy kid yeah that's a pretty popular one um hashtag captain underpants yes captain is is captain underpants still allowed what? Hashtag oh, is, like, is, is, like yeah. is it still coming out i mean i I, I don't know anything about that, but I could see why uh, some places might not allow it. To... No, no, I didn't mean allowed. I mean, like, is it still coming out? Uh, it's a it's a children's book. Um, yeah, but decided. it's about a guy who runs around in his underwear with. Wait, no, I'm starting to think of Quail <laughs> Man a little bit, but it's about a. Isn't it the principal who runs around in his underwear with a towel on his neck? I don't, I don't remember. I think that's Captain Underpants. Yeah. Hashtag Aragon. Yeah, I, I, I started reading Aragon, but I never finished it. War of the Worlds. Okay, we got a classic. Who said that? Chilled Marvin. Minecraft guidebooks. Okay, hey, listen. Yo. I, I used to... Minecraft uh, we, dummies. Yo, back in the day, man, like, strat books were, like, the thing. You know what I mean? Like, you'd go, you'd buy... Uh, what was that company that made strategy books? I remember uh, we used to have a couple for like No, no, this is even before that. This oh, is yeah. like when you'd actually go to a, like a, a bookstore and buy a book on a game. Uh, okay, well, okay. Um, hey, chat, Cyrus and I are dating ourselves here. We're going to sound like old men talking about walking up and down hills, but like before the internet was like game thing, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were books, which crazy right um and they would tell you like all those niche things about like if you go into the corner in final fantasy 7 and you put in these inputs there's a secret passageway to unlock this you know like that's that is what we had to do um i always found them at like either best buy in like some random bin or like uh gamestop or uh fry's electronics there was a section next to the games where they would have those books yeah, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off for one second, just one second. You'll be working. your book. All right, I'll I'll keep talking to chat. 
Uh, Hunger Games, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay, interesting, interesting. A lot of classics readers out there. Uh, I see some manga readers, some One Piece. I saw someone say Kometsu no Yaiba. I think that's the... Uh, I forgot. The, I don't know. I always see abbreviated KNY, but I know what you're talking about. Uh, Demon Slayer is the, the more Americanized term. Red Alert 2, fantastic game, yeah. actually. Prima's official strategy guide for Red Alert 2. I, so you, you just go in... And it's got like missions on all the, it's, yeah. I don't know if any of you played Red Alert 2. Okay, so I saw a couple other ones. Um, somebody mentioned Artemis Fowl. I really enjoyed reading Artemis Fowl. Percy Jackson, that was a good one. <clears throat> um, Nintendo Power, yeah. Nintendo Power is a good one back in the day. Let me see all right. this one went out. Sorry. That doesn't sound like a real book. Oh, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, great, great book. Interesting movie too. Series of unfortunate events. I I read most of them, um, like as they were coming out, and then I kind of I don't know how many there are now. It must have dropped out. Um, did you watch the uh, the Netflix show? Uh, I did. I actually I really enjoyed it with Neil Patrick um, Harris. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. It was good. The the movie with Jim what was Jim Carrey? Who's in was the there movie? One with I was, Jim Carrey. There was. Yeah, they made a movie. Death Note. Does that, yeah, we'll we'll count that. We'll count that. <clears throat> oh, I might be getting Twitch police. Hold on. Sure All right, gonna... listen, chat. Hashtag enter does nothing, but hashtag, and then you tell me your favorite book does a lot more. Dragon Ball. Yeah, I had a, I had a friend that had every every Dragon Ball comic. Yo, old school In, Dragon uh, Ball, or are we talking about Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super? <sighs> Ooh, you know, I don't know. But I remember it was in French because he's French speaking. It was probably it was probably a OG Dragon Ball. Well, okay, easiest way to know was there a, a was the main character a kid or an adult? I didn't read them. Okay, I didn't. I did not read them. You just saw oh, it was Dragon Ball. Yeah, the only like my my ex Dragon Ball experience is Dragon Ball Z. Um, okay. Very very minimal. Um, Star Star Wars books. Yeah, I I've read two Star Wars books. That's about it. The Hunger Games was awesome. I really enjoyed reading those. Uh, I'd put that up there as like a real good, like that's a nice, easy world to get into. What else do we have? Naruto. I, I don't know if there's a Naruto book. I mean, it's same. It's a manga. It's all Shonen Jump. Okay. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Who said that? Mom. Fairy Hawk. Thank you. That's an awesome. It's an awesome book. Awesome author. Great series too. Um, do you ever hear of, uh, what's, what's, what's that one with the, with the polar bear and the, um, the polar express. No, 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 no. Golden it's, like, it's, it's one of the golden compass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was, you know, one of those like classic series. Which one's the yeah. one with the rock? Dwayne Johnson. Tooth, tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a, no, there, he did one of those, um, like hitchhiker's guides. I don't think it was hitchhiker's guide. Cause I think, uh, there's a different uh, main actor for the... There's two Hitchhiker's Guide movies, I think. Wait, no, I'm thinking of Journey of the Center of the Universe. I think he did Hitchhiker's Guide. Journey of the Center of the Universe had... Um, who was it? I don't know. Was it Escape to something? Escape to Which Mountain? Was that what I'm thinking of? Oh, Escape to Which Mountain. That was... That was yeah, that uh, was okay, he did Which Mountain. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, chat. See, Yo, I, I see a Goosebumps. You see a Goosebumps in chat. Uh, loved Goosebumps. Sherlock Holmes, classic. Uh, there was another really good one that um, someone... Yo, the Art of War. Someone a, say that's Maze solid. Runner. Coral was Coraline a book? I know there was the movie Coraline with the button-eyed hmm. people. Was there a book for Coraline? I don't I don't remember. I see YouTube uh, chat. Narnia Chronicles, yes. Another classic. Hey, pick up a book, read a book. If you, um, you, know, if you enjoy reading... Read a new book. Sometimes it's you know I, I really enjoy reading and and there it's was a time where I just kind of I kind of stopped reading for a little bit. And if you don't read, try it out. You know, pick up a book, ask a friend for a recommendation, and, and read something that you might enjoy. You know, um, maybe you you will enjoy it. Maybe you won't. Maybe there's something else. To Kill a Mocking, Mockingbird, great book, timeless. Oh, I see someone great talking book. about uh, Black Clover, fantastic and also terrible show. <laughs> I love Black Clover, but man, is that show uh, a slog sometimes? I don't it, it, anime, but 
gaming channel promoting books hey just promoting reading <laughs> promoting knowledge that's what we're all about knowledge. education yeah. is important um as a whole like this is just an aside but like uh, I've found that people who are constantly trying to increase their knowledge are generally um, doing very well for themselves. Uh, so I highly recommend, at the very least, uh, going out there and kind of pursuing different different perspectives, different uh, information uh, whenever possible. Sure. Yeah. And, 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 you know, there, there's like a whole wide world of, of things that you can do and learn, you know, it's not always just like having to sit down and read something to learn something, right? You can learn something by doing something like learning to play Brawlhalla or learning to, you know, what I always wanted to do when I was a kid, I always wanted to whittle wood. Really? You know, like, yeah. And I, like, I just, I guess I never had like a good piece of wood or any reference points <laughs> to start with. Um, but like you just get a wood and, and, you know, you just start whittling it. You just need some um, soft wood and a good knife. Right. Exactly. I had neither of those. <laughs> um, Watership Down, the Arabian Nights. Yes. Okay. Seen some classes. Maze Runner. I never read the Maze Runner and I think I watched one of the movies or half of the movies. All right. Sirus, it is 208. Um, I've given out 25 codes. I believe about 15 of those were meta devs. Uh, I'm going to call it there um fantastic yep. conversation about books love to talk about books um uh in the fact that i don't ever read uh but <laughs> it's always fun to talk and see what everyone is doing and where everyone's coming from just to get all these different right. perspectives lots of um i see like a lot of like american classics i'm curious how many of you international people have something that is like your equivalent to like artemis fowl in your yeah i don't know french classes or whatever um that's something that i would be interested in learning about but um uh, we don't have any time to talk about that right now we're gonna end our stream for today thank you all for watching again apologies for the viewership awards being down there's some technical if difficulties um but hopefully it'll be up for next monday no promises because who knows how long uh fixing it will take um either way have a wonderful rest of your day that's gonna be it for us uh we have plenty of dev streams monday esports dev stream i think there's a crew battle that's the rumor i don't know if i spoiled that sorry um for next monday uh tuesday uh gonna be showing off some cool stuff again go over to uh, twitter.com slash brahala to find out what's going on in the brahala universe uh thursday of course we like to host people on our twitch channel so if you're streaming on uh, twitch.tv then maybe we'll host you on Thursdays and then Friday of course is our educational stream this one was a little bit different uh, we did talk a little bit about some of the cool stuff you can do with Mako of course that downlight and sip for guitars and then the uh, great sword side light neutral light into the neutral signature as a jump punish um, really fun stuff have a wonderful rest of your day sign up for our tournaments over at smash.gg slash and we're out